Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And once again, I hope you hit that subscriber button because this is gonna be really interesting, really deep and really useful today. So we're gonna be going over how to talk and how to get in touch with venture capitalists. Whether you're a founder or somebody getting into the space, this is an industry that involves a lot of EQ, emotional intelligence, just as much as IQ. So guys, with that being said, we're gonna be going over three things today. One is gonna be relationship building. Two is gonna be mastering the cold outreach, which is a lot harder than what you think. And the last one is going to be emotional intelligence in the art and what I've kind of learned from that whole experience. So guys, yes, with that being said, let's get it. Okay, so first of all, number one, right, we're going to talk about building relationships within the startup and venture capital ecosystem. Because one, this is going to solidify your brand per se, and give you some validity to the space, get you deal flow, and essentially get you a job if that's what you're into. So guys, this takes me back to a wonderful story in the military. And honestly, I am so glad that every time that I get to exercise this skill, it takes me right back. And that's the concept of building these relationships based on provided mutual value so there i was right i was a logistics officer in the military right and i was told every time by some big officer hey go to this other motor pool or workplace and go make friends and that was code word for go find some common ground and then go get some resources in exchange for something that can help them out as also i would go to this motor pool make friends get to know who they were as a person and they're like hey we really need this part for this tank and i noticed that you guys are deficient in this supply why don't we do a one-for-one -one swap so we can mutually benefit each other and then we just go out from there so that always stuck in my mind right so let's apply this to the venture capital and startup ecosystem right you want to leverage things i will always talk to people in person when you can you can utilize things like linkedin startup events accelerator programs family office events you you name it once you built your brand up to a certain extent then you can start having the conversation of hey you know i know this person i know this really good startup i know a go-to-market strategist a consultant that can help one of your portfolio companies and a x y and z the possibilities are endless once you built up your rolodex don't be afraid to exercise this and remember the value in networking and establishing connections in the startup ecosystem is priceless because people always raise people always invest and then if you hear the fact that that joe knows you he could probably give you a job in venture capital because you've helped him in the past if that's what you're into so guys now we're going to go over something that i think it's really important and really timeless right and that's cold outreach techniques and this is more than just sliding into some woman's instagram dms that you love or anything like that this is quite literally the ground basis on establishing relationships and then the startup and venture capital ecosystem so i'm going to be speaking to just reaching out to like a venture capitalist but you can apply this to any to anything else right so when you're reaching out to a venture capitalist right one they're humans too so make a very brief human introduction but also metrics matter why are you reaching out can you be a value to them like i just mentioned in the other section right metrics matter do your research on venture capital firms right because these guys are very busy they do thousands of deals of due of due diligence per year and literally only invest in maybe a handful if they're lucky so one see what they need so if they're looking for, for more deal flow, come in the first email with a deal based on their investment thesis. If, if you have some info on their companies and maybe somebody on their platform, which is the people that help the company scale, maybe you can offer them some expertise to refer them to another. Hey guys, so really embarrassing story, right? So literally halfway through this video, the audio cut out for whatever reason. So yeah, here we're back didn't realize it till like mid edit so in my church fit the cowboy hat's a nice bonus to this video so let's close this out so everything i was saying before you know after you build your brand and you have the effective reach out provide value based on the network and the allocations that you've had before so the last part i'm going to be talking about is referencing the beginning of the video right we're talking about emotional intelligence your ability to regulate describe and decipher emotions and this is big in the venture capital industry considering there's a lot of interactions so what i mean by that you know being an active listener not just listening to respond 
being in the VC's mind, seeing what type of problems that they need to solve and all these other things, which you can get to the solution with your resources, but you never know that until you really deep dive what's going on. And the last thing, managing emotions during pitches, if you're a startup founder and other things like that, you know, stakes can be high, but you gotta keep composed on the other side. So this enhances your relationships and this allows you to have the networking effect and be that person that other people can trust as well. So guys, with that being said, thank you for watching this video, guys. And like, comment, subscribe if you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next one.